Today is day 16, I think, of training with the Dragon Slayer. This here, of course, is Shikaizen Getsu, what I've been warming up with. Now, today, I want to try something a little different. A lot of you guys have been remecting, recommending something called form, and I personally lack it. So today, I want to be trying keeping the shoulders back, core tucked in, using the legs. You guys get it. Trying to swing the Dragon Slayer with some form to keep my body safe. So I'm going to put that into practice today. Thank you all so much for your comments and your support helping me out with this journey. So let's uh, just get started. Now with the Dragon Slayer, it's a lot different because it's a 40 pound sword. But Shikai Zangetsu, I've learned to control a lot more comfortably. However, I do still need to keep the form in check. Keeping the shoulders and the back tight, core tucked in. Oh. It's not comfortable, but I can definitely see it is a lot easier on my body. Oh. That feels so good on the shoulders every single day I do this. It really loosens me up because the Dragon Slayer is just ridiculous and it tears my body to shreds. It makes Shikai Zingetsu a lot easier to swing around. Just like almost that. That would've been really cool if I could held on. Whew. I haven't done any crazy combos with Shikai Zingetsu for a while now, so I might just whip those out and just see how it goes. Okay, I love Shikai Zengetsu. This thing is just amazing. But I need to train with the Dragon Slayer. That's the whole point of this challenge. This is day 16. Let's get at it. All right. Like I mentioned before, today we're trying to learn some form with the Dragon Slayer. I'm going to get right into it. This might be a little janky because I haven't really done anything this precise. So let's see how it goes. Whew. So what I first want to do is actually make sure my stance is nice and strong and steady and sturdy, I suppose. Something I assume similar to this. I haven't done much research yet. Well, you guys have recommended some pretty interesting sources, so I'm going to check them out, and hopefully they help me out. Now, shoulders back, locked in, bracing the rear of the sword, the pommel. This is going to be my leverage. My right hand, as of right now, is what's going to be lifting, what's curling the sword, basically. But I don't want to do it all in my arms. I want it to be in my legs, because that's what lifts the weight. So, I don't know if I mentioned yet today, but this is 40 pounds, which seemingly doesn't seem, 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 you know, 40 pounds doesn't seem like a lot. But over seven feet long, it adds up. So this hasn't been easy at all, but it's been a lot of fun. Let's give this a shot. Shoulders back, lock in, squatting, trying to keep that squat ergonomic. Whoa. Whew. No. Okay. That wasn't too bad, but I did lose my balance. I think I'm going to switch to my more dominant side, which is this way. Shoulders back, core tucked in, stance. All right. Let's give this a shot. Honestly, it does make it a little easier but I can feel the stress on my forearms more, surprisingly enough. So I don't know if that's supposed to be the case, but let's keep trying it out. That was actually pretty good that time. Let's do it again.
I think I'm getting the hang of it. I just find keeping the form while trying to do combos is a lot more difficult than just doing form training with one swing. I'll demonstrate. When I start swinging the sword around, you'll see how wild my stance gets. And that's something I want to work on is while I'm bringing the sword around is keeping my stance locked in nice and sturdy. Let's see what happens. Shoulders back. Whoa. That was actually pretty good. I focused a lot more attention on just my stance and staying still and, you know, some good posture there. But let's try it again Whoa. and see how it goes. I'm enjoying that, but now I've got to try the opposite, which is bringing the sword around forward, or at least from my perspective, dragging it right instead of left. Let's try this again. Okay. Good and sturdy. Ah. Oh. Okay, I lost the stance there. And I find that often happens when I'm bringing the sword behind my head. So I think I need to angle my stance more straight or whatever. I don't know the terminology. Instead of bracing myself this way, I want to brace myself this way. So let's give that a shot. All right, shoulders back. Oh my goodness, form makes a difference. That was crazy. That was, that was actually crazy. I stayed standing. That was actually seemingly a lot easier than the first attempt there. That's actually amazing. Oh my word. We're making progress. This is day 16. I, I used to not even be able to lift this sword, so I'm pretty happy. Let's do that again. Shoulders back, stance, sturdy. Nope, I didn't pick it up. I'm too, I was too focused on the stance and not the actual strength. All right, let's try it again. Whoa. That doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, that's progress right there. This has been day 16. Come back for day 17. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm training with the Dragon Slayer until I hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Ah.